Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for November 6th, 2023. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. Hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Taurus, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading. So take the parts that resonate for yourself, leave the rest for someone else, okay? Also keep in mind, Taurus, that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes into your energy, whenever it does come across your platform is whenever it is meant for you, okay? Boom, shakalaka, Taurus. Okay. If you are new, Taurus, welcome to the channel. I'm glad that you are here. If you are returning, what up, though? I'm glad that you're back, all right? <laughs> all right, we already got a pop out here, so let's see what we got. Hangman, I picked it up in the reversal. Um, so I'm going to go for it in the reversal and see what it looks like here. Just let you know, guys, I was reading, um, I was doing my readings in all upright there for a little while in order to get a little bit more accustomed with the cards because I was having a hard time get them, getting them all down. Um, so now here in the present, I'm back to this week, I'm going to be reading the reversals again. That is just a heads up for you, for those of you guys out there. Some people don't like it whenever readers, um, only read reversals, but at the same time, in my personal opinion, I feel like it um, gets a little bit of a clearer image of what is happening for the people watching the channel, and I feel like being authentic is the best way to go. So, am I, this is my version of being authentic, okay? Um, don't worry, guys. For those of you that only like upright readings, there will be um, possibly a... Um, a new route that I take on my channel in the future where that may still be a possibility. Um, for right now though, um, I'm going to keep it simple because I'm trying to move forward with it simple. All right, um, Hangman Reversa says, ah, the joys of life of being young and alive and free without a care in the world. This is how those celebrity billionaire babies must feel every day, running from party to party, laughing mercilessly at all the little people who actually have to work for a living. Oops, I used the W word, silly me, shows an abandonment of responsibility, study, effort, or bothering to care. So you guys are letting go of something here, okay? Feeling a little carefree at the moment, not having so much time, energy, and effort put into something that you were worried about. Um, could be moving on from a different job onto something else, okay? Or finding some kind of financial freedom here. Uh, very good card to have, guys. Boom, 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 boom. Spirit God, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Taurus today, please. One, two, three, four. Um, seven, it could be some kind of situation you were going through that you were moving on from where it was like people coming up against you or arguing with you or trying to fight you in some kind of way. However, you had the high ground here, okay, or you held the high ground, which means that um, you are going to be victorious most likely either way. Either way, you had the advantage here because um, of some reason, okay, but these people... Uh, we're coming up against you, and now I guess maybe they got tired of it, or they no longer want to go up against you here, Taurus, and they're like, all right, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm giving in, <laughs> I'm done fighting, Taurus is too strong, all right, Taurus is the bull, all right, Taurus is the bull, okay, so you mess with the bull, you get the horns, right, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it seems like you had to put somebody in their place here a little bit. Um, maybe not even like directly, but indirectly put someone in their place. Boom. Spirit God, God, Angels, Ancestors, Archangel, Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Taurus today, please. Boom, 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 boom. Let me get a four. Okay. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right, we got the full card in the past, embarking on some kind of journey. Okay. In the present, we have the seven of wands again. So it's like... Maybe these people are trying to come up against you, but you're just not letting this like phase you in any kind of way. You're just carefree about the situation. Like whatever, come up against me if you want to. Like I know that this is not going to work out for you. You already know what the outcome is because probably you are doing what you need to do for uh, yourself here. Okay. You're taking a new route, doing what you need to do for yourself. And people are upset about that. Okay. Maybe in the past you put other people before yourself and now you're deciding to put yourself first a little bit. And now these people are like, why would you do that? I'm so upset. Right. And you're like, because I love myself. I need to put myself first. I can't get from an empty cup, right? <laughs> okay. So something like this is going on here um, in the present. In the past, though, I'm just going to go ahead and do past and then present future. In the past, um, we have the full card. So it seems like you're bar embarking on a new adventure here or starting something new or doing something new. Um, 
You can go anywhere you desire without the burdens or luxuries or self-imposed responsibilities to tie you down. Think on this for a moment. This is why the Chaos Star has eight arrows. This card represents that freedom. You do not have to lose everything to find this freedom in yourself. You simply need to click your heels together, uh, take a deep breath and say, fuck it, okay? <laughs> Sorry for cussing. Um, you find joy in life by pursuing what is important to you, not your boss or what your parents want you to do or how your friends think you should behave. So note how he's completely at peace with whatever befalls his next step. This is what you do. This is, this is when you stop caring what other people want you to do so they can be happy. So this is you putting your happiness first here, Taurus, in the past. Doing something that you need to do for yourself, putting yourself first in a sense. Um, so that way you can be happy, okay? Maybe the uh, people or the job or the things in your life that you had around you just were not making you happy anymore. And you decided um, here in the past to do something to put yourself first, okay? New beginnings, whether you are new ventures, freedom from restriction, new directions in life. This is your personal get out of jail free card. When you see this card, the opportunities have had see the opportunity when you see this card, see the opportunities ahead of you and the courage that comes naturally with pursuing what is most important to you. So yeah, let's clarify this full card in the past for Taurus. Okay, one, two, three, four. Wow. Okay. They want to talk. <laughs> Your spirit team is wanting to talk to you, Taurus. They're like, okay, all right, thank God. Caleb McDowell doing this Taurus read. Let's hear it. Let's see it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. All right. All right, we have the nine of cups, okay? We have the six of wands upright and the eight of wands, okay? So um, happy with your current circumstances and your situation here in the past after you took this leap of faith to go on this journey, this new uh, quest, this embarking uh, moving on from something here, maybe that was tying you down, okay? Um, your, your, the image that you have, okay, for like how the world is seeing you, okay, for your work ethic, you are being seen, okay? The work ethic that you do, the work ethic that you have is being known, and you're also moving quickly uh, towards something else here, or towards something with something, something like this, okay? You're moving very fast here, fast-paced movement. Could be, uh, for some of you guys, a vacation, Excuse me. Um, it could be a vacation that you decided to go on because of all these stresses that your life was throwing at you, like, or these people in your life were throwing at you, okay? We have the uh, Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, and Eight of Wands. That is what I'm um, describing here. Six, nine, eight. <laughs> it's almost a synchronicity, nine, eight, seven, but it's nine, eight, six. Okay, I just thought that was interesting here. Um, I'll look at the Nine of Cups first. I mean, this is, I pretty much already know what these cards mean, like I said. <clears throat> like I said in the upright. But at the same time, I, will, I do like to read the uh, description so that way you can get an accurate uh, picture of what's going on here for yourself. Okay, there might be a part that I'm leaving out here. In the upright, most of these cards I do already know. Okay? Um, in the reversals, I'm still learning. So at the same time, bear with me if I get some reversals in here. All right? But... Nine of Cups upright, this is the fabled wish card. It represents getting almost everything you want, quitting the game on top, and taking your winnings home. You win. This is you getting your wish or living your passions. Ideally, this is what the Eight of Cups leads to, or just being supremely happy with what you have and not needing to toil or risk to gain anything more. This is an idealistic card of satiation and sensual pleasure. So, it, so it's a good idea to have a clear vision of your wish before you have it delivered, okay? So if you guys are wanting something all right be specific with what you want so that way spirit can come in here and be like all right this is what you asked for this is what you got perfect all right parades accolades victories and celebrations of victories if this card is an outcome expect good things this is a six of wands that i'm explaining here expect good things and expect a public spectacle of the victory possible raise promotion awards one public affection and even perhaps a little boasting are bound to happen very soon occasionally this card also represents represents a leader rallying his or her troops organizing for a major cause if that is the case, the surrounding cards will support that notion quite clearly, okay? And then we have the Eight of Wands. Boom. Definitely looking good here in the past, okay? <clears throat> Quick sudden burst of energy and or action. Adventure is afoot in the realm and there is no time for rest or sloth. The flight of the staves indicates unified sources of action, unseen causes leading to change and possible travel. Be ready to change, move, adjust, or fly literally or even physically at a moment's notice. The alignment of the wands in this picture indicate a certain uniformity, uniformity of action, so expect a reasonably orderly process rather than a chaotic mess. This is generally assumed to be a mildly lucky card. Okay. Energy and action, adventures afoot in the realm, and there is no time for rest or sloth. So definitely some fast-paced movement towards something or away from something else here. Um, 
for some of you guys it's a vacation all right not all of you but um and some kind of change quick change excuse me guys all right let's go ahead and get to the present okay i was just saying that wow i was just saying nine eight six okay but then we have the seven of wands in the present so we have nine eight seven six okay and then it's the eight of wands the seven of wands and the six of wands okay so this seven of wands here is what you're going through in the present someone trying to come up against you but you have the high ground okay they're trying to argue with you or they're trying to maybe keep you stuck in some kind of way or like you're progressing in life and it's making other people in your energy mad and they're like trying to um come up against you in a way to where like oh well you shouldn't be you shouldn't receive these blessings because something like this okay they're trying to like tell you what you do and do not deserve like they're you or something all right <laughs> like they you know what i'm saying i don't know one thing i do like I'll, I'll tell people sometimes i'm like if you my name is caleb i'm like if you can come be caleb better than i can then come on in all right come on over here all right because i would, I would just love to see you try you know what i'm saying because no one knows what you go through taurus no one knows, like, even if they see what you're going through, no one knows what you are dealing with internally. They don't know what you've been through, not every single thing that you've been through in the past. Even if they've known, even if you've known this person for most of your life, okay, or these people for most of your life, they don't know what you deal with internally. They don't know what it's like for you. And, and just like you don't know what it's like for them, you know what I'm saying? So other people will always try to come up against you in certain ways here, but they, until they, like, literally can be you, be you, not like step into your shoes, but until they can literally be you, don't worry about what these people say okay <laughs> they can't they're not you you know what i'm saying this is this may hurt a bit sun zoo advocates in the art of war holding the higher ground in battle if one desires to be victorious this may take the form of a mental process being smarter in battle or an emotional one remaining calm while whipping your opponent into a frenzy or a physical one where you can throw rocks down on your enemies this card indicates attackers ganging up on one who is above more powerful or better than they are verify with other cards to describe which no to discern which this the defender here has the advantage of the high ground and the confidence and determination to win. Skill is also implied for telling victory after strife. So it seems like you're going to be victorious here um, after whatever this tussle is, tussle, strussle, whatever you want to call it. Whatever this is you're going to, you're still going to be victorious, but it's just like, um, I wouldn't even necessarily say a setback. It's just a struggle right now at this time with these people trying to go up against you. Okay. We have the high priestess in reverse. And we have um, five of cups on the bottom. Um, it seems here that you're like still not over something that happened in the past. Okay, you're upset about something and you're focused on it. All right. Um, one thing I can tell you here, Taurus, is the only way for new things to come in that are worth your time, energy, and effort is you have to let go of whatever this past situation was or this person is feeling this way. Maybe they're, this person that you're dealing with, if you are dealing with a person, could be a job. Like maybe you moved on from this job and this job is like so upset about the fact that you moved on. They thought that you were gonna be there with them forever, okay? Or if it's a person, they're like, I'm so so upset that Taurus is moving on. I can't believe that Taurus decided to move on and and they're still focused on it or you are. Take it as it resonates. Feel, feel free to reverse the roles as needed, okay? But someone's upset and still focused on the past. However, the only way to move forward from the past is to let go of the past, okay? The past and the, and the situations that you went through happened for a reason, all right? And if it's already past and it's in the past, it's time to move forward now so that way we can learn from the lessons that we have been through and move forward from there, okay? There's no need to sit and like, you know, be upset about what's going on in the past. For some of you guys, this is a love situation, all right? It is a situation that it is not working out or did not work out okay and um it seems like now especially now at this time you're having to learn to juggle your finances on your own okay or the person that you're dealing with is it could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio um it doesn't have to be all right it could be a fire sign because we have fire in the past um or uh, yeah we have two water cups we have two uh fire fire cards and we have the uh pentacles okay we actually have the three we actually have the three fire cards so it could be a fire sign or a water sign here pisces cancer scorpio or aries leo or sagittarius okay um let me look at this high priestess in the reverse i know what it, pretty much know what it means up right pretty much <laughs> the um the court cards and also the major arcanas 
are usually the ones I have the most trouble with. So it is uh, very important for me to look this up in order to be able to get an accurate depiction for you guys. I apologize, just letting you know that, okay? As a mental state or physical physical condition, confusion, alcohol... As a mental state or physical condition, confusion, alcoholism, and drug abuse, overdose, paranoia, and superstition, delusion, especially with the six of swords, seven of coins, etc., spiritual weakness, clouded judgment, false spirituality, look at expecting cards, psychosis, fantasism, and extremism, not doing one's research or homework, abduction, buried treasures, and bad pomegranates, okay? So... Taurus, either someone was trying to come up against you here or you trying to go up against someone or something. Um, but either way, though, you're in this like you or this person is in this mindset of lack, like they're in this lack mindset. They're feeling overdose. They could be drinking a lot or doing drugs or something like this here um, in order to numb the pain of this situation. OK, spiritual weakness, clouded judgment, false spirituality psychosis, fanaticism, and extremism, not doing one's research or homework, abduction, buried treasures, and bad pomegranates. So something here is just like not good. I mean, we have the two of cups as well in the reverse. So it could be a person that it's, you're dealing with, like you're having a relationship with. I mean, cups usually represents like, um, especially two of cups, like in a relationship dynamic, but it could be a job. I mean, it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be a job or something else here. Trouble and paradise, a separation of two people going their own way or refusing to hear each other out. Compassion dissolves in the bitterness, spurned love, rejection. If coupled with the Three of Swords, this card reverse specifically indicates infidelity. So um, you could have figured out someone cheated on you here, Taurus, or someone could have figured out you cheated on them or something, okay? It's causing all this paranoia, this like distrust, this like misalignment going on here. And now you and this person are having to juggle your finances in some kind of way because of literally, I mean, I would say mainly because of the fact that you're, you guys are still together possibly okay it's like if you are still together or if you just broke up or just separated you're like having to deal with your finances in a different way now okay and it's not like serving your highest i don't know uh, this is what i'm this is what i'm thinking here all right the the separation maybe was serving your highest good this is something your higher self okay this is something that needed to happen but at the same time you're having to go through now this um, kind of like frenzy of juggling your finances that you were not really prepared for, okay? This says, this card has one central meaning that can manifest in several different ways. At best, it reveals clever accounting and tricky cash flow to keep everything afloat, even against the stormy seas of volatile economic times. On a, sli on a slightly less happy note, it more often reveals a financial struggle, literally the juggling of one's finances by borrowing money from this area of the budget to pay for that, and scrambling to make ends meet. In a worst case scenario, it is a dire warning that one's current money management style is about to explode in their face. Could indicate financial insolvency, gambling, gambling, even scams, okay? So for some of you guys, you are staying afloat by like, like kind of having to take from here and put there and take from there and put here. You know, you're putting stuff in different uh, areas in your life in order to stay afloat. For some of you, um, this is like literally you're having a hard time staying on top of the water here, trying to keep your head afloat here because of the uh, finances that you're going through, okay? The financial situation that you're in that you're going through, okay? Now let's look at the Page of Swords for the future, okay? This represents someone like take, every time I see this card, just look at this person, all right? Look at this Page of Swords. They're sitting there and they're like looking and they're like, it looks like they're like taking the sword away, right? They're like, ah, oh, this is, I'm, I'm no longer, you're, I'm not helping you out anymore. It's something like this. It's not what the card actually means, okay? It's just what it looks like to me, especially whenever I look at it. Someone's like eyeing you or you're eyeing someone like... You are eyeing someone or someone is eyeing you and they're, and you're just like, um, you're not okay. Okay, someone, let me, let me clarify. Oh man, I haven't woke up at 6 a.m. in a while. It's probably been like a week, over a week maybe that I actually woke up on time. And today I did. Thank God. And now I'm like, oh, I'm tired already. <laughs> All right. As representative, as representative of a person, this card indicates a young boy or girl or student, either of the qualities of the suit of swords, rash, loud, defensive, angry, potentially violent, or the element of air, intelligent, studious, hyperactive, razor wit. Of course, the swords do represent air. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you could be dealing with someone like this. You don't have to be. You could have this placement in this chart in your chart or the person you're dealing with may have this placement in their chart. It just depends. Okay. If this card indicates a message, expect the wording to be sharp and pointed, like unpleasant news or something delivered with disdain. 
When this card indicates a situation or a state of being, it reflects the act of taking the moral high ground, vehemently arguing a point, speaking from a platform, teaching, lecturing, or preaching. It does not indicate a war of words, but rather a spirited exchange, unless negatively aspected. So let's see if this is a negative thing or... All right, and this is like, like I said, whenever I stated this, whenever I was saying this about the card, it always looks like someone's like trying to take an offer away from you or you trying to take an offer away from someone whenever I see the card. It's, but they're still eyeing you. They still have their eye on you. They still want to know what you're doing, okay? They still want to know what you've got going on. But like I said, that's not even what the card specifically means from the book. It's just what I get from the card whenever I see it, okay? When this indicates, I want to reread this part. When this indicates a situation or a state of being, it reflects the act of taking the moral high ground, vehemently arguing a point, speaking from a platform, teaching, lecturing, or preaching. It does not indicate a war of words, but rather a spirited exchange, unless negatively aspected. Now, one, two, three, four. Someone's going through a tower moment as well. This could be you or the people that you're dealing with. Um, you have a thief in your camp here, okay? Someone trying to steal your stuff or your ideas, resistant to change, uh, needing to rest and relax. Um, my God, we got a lot going on here, Taurus. The will of fortune not working in someone's favor. This is just like, oh my God, this is a lot. Okay, this is really a lot. But what I'm getting from this mainly is like, you're going through this tower moment. The reason that you're going through the tower moment is because something has been happening, whether it's you or this person going through this tower moment. Something has been just gone on too long here, okay? This is something that needed to happen in order for your spiritual growth, okay? Like, this is like, like, the best way I can explain this is this would have happened either way at some point or another, okay? This would have happened. The reason being is because of the need for spiritual growth here or growth in some type of way towards your the higher portion of yourself, the higher being for yourself, the higher yourself, okay? Like, you... It's like you are, <laughs> it's like whether you wanted to or not, you're now having to reach up and grab yourself, okay? You're trying to, you're 22 on the clock, 22. You're having to reach up and, and grab yourself here, your higher self, your higher being, the best version of yourself possible. You're up there and you're grabbing this part of you now and you're having to work towards that, okay? Like why? Because this was something that is like, God is on your side, all right? God's on your side. He's not gonna let you go through anything that you can't handle. At first, you're going to be like, God, are you sure you're not going to make me go to anything that I, that I can't handle, okay? <laughs> you're going to be feeling that way at first, but God knows, yo. Your higher self knows. They know you can handle it. Why? Because you're up there now, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, uh, it sucks. It really does. Trust me, I understand how this feeling is. Like, firsthand, I know how this is. And, it, you know, when we go through things like this, this is like, you figure out who you are as a person, okay? Deep down. You reach down there and you're like, man, are you sh you positive, son? That's me? <laughs> and you're like lowest self and your higher self are looking at each other and you're feeling like stuck in the middle there. And you f you're going to feel like you're down here, like really close to your lower self. You're not, okay? You That's why I'm saying you see who you are as a person. Because whenever you have to go through a situation like this with all this hard stuff, you start to feel, you figure out who you are. You know what I'm saying? And you, you figure out what you can handle and what you can go through, okay? Now... This, this page of swords is clarified by the ten of wands, the lovers in the reverse, and the five of wands, okay? So, some type of separation going on here in the future, okay? We had the two of cups in the reverse in the present, so it's like maybe in the present here, Taurus, you, this situation, you're like separated from the situation, but maybe, all right, this could be a marriage for some of you guys here. Uh, for some of you other people out here, this is a long-standing relationship um, or something that has been around. Maybe you've known this person for a long time or something and got in a relationship with them and then it didn't work out or something like this, okay? But we have the two of cups in the reverse and then in the same positioning, we have the lovers in the reverse. So for a, a lot of you out here, whoever is watching this video, you're going through some type of separation and it's not one that you want to go through or they don't want to go through. Someone here does not want this to happen, okay? But it's something that is necessary for your higher growth, for the growth of you being uh, the best version of yourself, okay? And one thing I always, always, always keep in the back of my mind and I always try to tell people this, keep this in the back of your mind here. If it is meant for you, if it is meant to be, if it is meant to work out, just take this time. This is just you taking time away from it. So that way you can go work on yourself, be a better version of yourself and then come back. And it's going to be even more better than it, like way better than it even was. So like, if it's meant for you, it's going to come back anyway. Right. And God's telling you that like, this is, 
God talking through me saying, hey, guess what? If it's meant for you, it's going to be back. And and don't worry about, like, I mean, it's hard not to worry about it. Trust me, I know I know it's hard not to worry about it, <laughs> okay? But this is God telling you, if it's meant for you, it's going to come back. Like, God's not going to just take something from you, like, and just take it. You know, he's going to be like, hey, this is something that is meant for your growth. This is something that we got to go through as people sometimes. If it is meant for you, it'll be back in your life, okay? Don't worry about it in that kind of way. And like I said, I know it's hard not to worry, but just don't worry about it, okay? The Ten of Wands says, be careful what you wish for. All right, now this represents all right, a harvest. This this also states um, emotional burden that one is forced to carry for a time. What's it say? Uh, one chooses or is forced to carry for a time. So this could be emotions that you need to let go of or just need to find a way to work through here. I recommend exercising, meditation, and breath work. Okay, those are the three things that I try to do for myself every single day in one way or another in order to work through my emotions. So if I can do it, anybody can do it because I'm a very emotional person, okay? I ain't gonna lie. So this represents um, emotional burdens that one is forced to carry for a time or chooses to carry for a time. But also these 10 wands here are a harvest, okay? Like he's harvesting these 10 wands. So he's carrying them, but he planted them. He waited for them to grow. He nurtured them. Okay. And now he's carrying these, these burdens. Okay. So it's like, you're, you're having to carry this for a little bit of time, but at the same time, like I said, it's for the betterment of yourself as a person. Okay. I'll read it for you. The luxuries we crave are often our burdens in turn. This man has a lot of sticks because he has to carry them to his destination or lose them. Success has a price and you may have to bear it once you get everything you desire. Fame, power, and wealth are seldom what we thought they would be when we first started along our path. Know exactly what you want before you invest a lifetime pursuing it so that when you get it, you are still happy to carry the load. This card shows heavy labor or emotional burdens one chooses or is forced to carry for a time. I already read that like three times. Sorry, guys. All right. And now we have the lover's card and the five of wands. First, I'm going to read the five of wands and then I will read the lover's card, okay? Because I want to see what this is that this represents, especially in the upright, which it is right now, this represents... Um, different ideas coming together and clashing okay like everybody has an idea of how things are supposed to be done and whenever they come together and they come into like contact with each other they clash because you might be like you might be thinking this right here all right you might be like oh this is like how this is gonna be this is how it should be and then you got this other person like no nah, it should be like this it should totally be like this bro and you're like what the fuck all right you know something like this I'll read it for you. Look closely at the players. One man guards against another who makes a proclamation while another looks up in worry. The central character wonders of the quality of his staff and, the de and his destiny with it while the last holds his staff high in defiance so as not to be left out of the fun. And then it states, everyone has, <clears throat> everyone has their own idea of how things should be done. And this is what happens when those ideas come into contact with each other. This card represents a madhouse, a situation that is devolving into a circus. Egos flare and while some work to find harmony, others prance and dance to their own tunes. Step lightly or run at this time, let cooler heads prevail. Okay, so it's telling you to take a step back from the situation because there's too many emotions involved, okay? There's too many emotions involved in this situation and it's causing a madhouse, okay? It's just causing everybody to flip out, okay? Flip around, all, you know, everybody's upset, you know what I'm saying? Egos flare and while some work to find harmony, others prance and dance to their own tune. So it's like some people like maybe trying to work with you in this situation to figure it out. Other people just aren't even listening to you. They're like, la, 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 la. Okay, they're just, they don't care what you have to say at this moment because there's too many emotions involved, okay? So take a step back and let cooler heads prevail, all right? Now we have the lover's card. The lovers. But it is in reverse, okay? So it is not something usually that we will like, like to hear. But like I said, guys, everything does happen for a reason. I don't look at tarot as good or bad. I just look at it as is this is tarot okay so this is what happens this is maybe what is happening in your situation maybe not okay but at the same time like it just is okay pain then more pain in fact so much pain okay so it's not pretty this shows separations of all sorts divorces broken packs false friends job loss it is the removal of one from the source of life and happiness again it needs to be clarified by other cards to find out the how and the why okay okay why and how I already know why and how, okay? This is because whatever this is, especially if this is a long-standing marriage, there's a good chance that this is still going to work out for you. That's a prediction, okay? This is still going to work out for you. It's just that something in the energy needs to change now because there's too much reliance on you and this person, okay? I don't know why I'm getting this or how I'm feeling this, but this is something here that is stating and is showing me this will work out 
but there has to be a separation right now if you want it to work out, okay? That's what God is like trying to teach you. He's trying to throw this in here now. And that's if you even just want it to work out. If you hear Taurus, do not want this to work out, this is ending so that something better can come into your life, okay? Someone better, something better, something like this, okay? But you and this person, I can tell, have been together for a long time, for most of you guys watching this, or you have a lot of love for each other. One of these two things, or both, okay? Something like this. So the reason that this has to happen is because there's not a lot of faith in the relationship. There's something here about not having faith or not trusting. Something about trust and faith, this is what I'm getting intuitively. There just needs to be faith and trust in the relationship or in the other person because, I mean, ain't nobody gonna spend all their time and energy and effort with you and then you still not trust them. What's the point in that? That don't make no sense, you know? So something about this is going on here. This is, that's not gonna be for everybody out here. That will be for some of you guys though. And I do hope this message resonates with someone. If it's resonating so far, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of this situation here. One, two, three, four. Something about your root chakra is significant here, guys, Taurus. This means, okay, we have father, something about your father could be your father or uh, maybe you are a father or something about someone's father is significant here. All right, root chakra. What root chakra represents is unhealed childhood trauma, okay? It's trauma that you have not healed from, um, from your childhood, and that's why this is all happening right now, okay? This is happening because of the fact that you have to heal this trauma, okay? And you're wondering, like, how am I supposed to do that, okay? It's not going to be easy, okay? I'll tell you that from the... <laughs> Right off the get-go, just know that it's not going to be easy, but it is something you can do, okay? You have to get a shadow work journal. Get a shadow work journal, go to go to Amazon, type in shadow work. If you don't know what shadow work is, go to Google, type in shadow work, all right? It's work that you do about yourself, and it's like you have to separate yourself from your ego first, okay? Because you and your ego are two different things. They're two different it's two different things inside of your body, okay? Your ego protects your inner child, okay? That's why you have an ego. That's why you're there, okay? Because your ego is, is there to protect you. It is like a form, it's almost like a facade, but it's not a facade, it is you, okay? It's a, it's a part of yourself that is there and it's meant to protect you, like the inner child that you have, okay? That's why we have an ego. Um, but you are a higher being, okay, that has to deal with this ego to protect your inner child. So you have to look at it like, like this. The, you know why they had like, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, okay, the, the three, the three is synchronicities in a whole lot of different ways, okay, you have the highest version of yourself, you have the ego, and then you have your root chakra, okay, which is like unhealed childhood trauma. You have to be able to access your root chakra, figure out what it is, if you're an emotional person, understand that this is going to be something that's probably going to make you upset, you're probably going to cry, okay, but it's going to be healing, you're going to understand more parts of yourself and why you are the way you are, okay. This is not... It's not easy, like I said. The fucking shadow work journal that I have, I've done it like twice, two different times. I've worked it and just like as much as I could get done at the time and I was like, okay, I'll come back to this as soon as I can, but it's probably gonna be a while because I just have stuff in my head that is like, I don't want to go and access it, but it's very necessary, okay? It's very necessary in order to do. So that is like me guiding myself right now. Today, at some point, I probably need to go work at that journal at some point because I am the person that likes to practice what I preach, okay? I'm a person that likes to say, hey, we need to do this, and I'm not one that just doesn't do it. I have to do it too. So <laughs> it's not just you I'm talking to, Taurus. I'm talking to myself as well. I also have Taurus in my chart, so trust me, I can relate. Lyricist, you could be a lyricist or someone that writes lyrics or you're dealing with someone who is a lyricist or something like this is significant. One, two, three, four. Root chakra came out again. Definitely some root chakra healing that you need to go through. I would also get some sage and cleanse your space. If you can go to Amazon and look up spiritual bath, um, look up, what is it called? It's something for, it's, just look up spiritual bath, see what pops up and see if you can get something to take a spiritual bath. That will probably also help. That's something also I need to do. I just haven't had the money to do it, so I haven't done it yet, okay? <laughs> Two, three, four. We have gray area. You're like stuck in a gray area or someone feels like, they're stuck in a gray area. Maybe things are usually black and white, pretty easy to understand. And now you're sitting here like, what is this gray area? Or you're looking for a gray area or something like this is significant. One, two, three, four. Root chakra again. Okay, and I just shuffled the cards right there. Y'all saw me shuffle the cards. The reason that I did that is just to make sure I wasn't going to get a rep repetition. But something about your root chakra here, Taurus, is very significant. 
something here needs to be healed. This is something that is going to take some time, energy, and effort in order to be able to get into to figure out what's going on here. But I'm just letting you know this is something that needs to happen, okay? We have gray area again. I'm going to shuffle these cards one more time if I get the same card. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four. Guitar. Okay. Maybe you play guitar or maybe you have a guitar or maybe you play instruments or something like this or someone. Something about a guitar. Some, there could be a guitar playing in the background there for you right now. Okay. Something about a guitar is significant here. Um, maybe you need to listen to some music or something or maybe you play guitar. Like I said, something about guitar is significant here. One, two, three, three, four. Listen, Big Bubba Mac. All right. Listen to what I'm saying. These next two cards or next three cards are going to be significant. I'm actually going to pull, I'm going to pull six cards. Okay. We have call or calling. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, God. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. All right. Your call, you're being called to do something here. Okay. You know what this is. You've been called to do this before. Okay. You need to, you have a call or expect a phone call or something like this, but this is more guiding me to tell you that you have a call or a calling that you have are meant to do okay this is something that you need to do this is something that your higher self has been telling you to do or god for some of you out here for others of you this is your higher this is the higher consciousness or your higher self whatever you would like to call it you have a call or a calling that you are meant to do the reason all this is happening in your energy right now is because you've been ignoring this call okay you need to listen to the call we also have cleanse your space okay you might have a dark energy attachment that has been either latched onto your person here or in your energy you need to get this energy attachment out okay all right get this out of your energy okay because it's not serving your higher purpose it's not good it could just be you needing to cleanse your space in order to get whatever negative energy you have in your in your space in your house in your area out okay get that negative energy out we have virgo you can have Virgo somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with a Virgo or someone in your energy has Virgo in their chart. For example, I have Virgo in my chart, okay? We have proud. Someone could be proud of you or you're proud of someone or something about being proud is here. Um, definitely something like that. Let me get seed or seeds. You could be planting seeds, having new ideas or planting something uh, that needs to, uh, that you're waiting on it to grow or something like this is significant here. We have excitement. Okay, you could be excited about something or someone is excited um, about, I don't know. You could be excited or someone is excited or something about excitement is going on here. Marriage, okay. Marriage is significant. You could be married or maybe you're planting a seed in order to get married or something about marriage is significant here, Taurus. Okay, you get two more cards. Anger, someone could be angry with you or you're angry, angry at someone or something about anger is significant here. One more card shame okay someone's feeling shameful you could be feeling shameful or someone's feeling shameful for the situation that is happening or something about shame is significant here don't ever feel ashamed for being yourself be yourself okay <laughs> and we have guitar again definitely someone plays guitar out here okay <laughs> all right guys let me get a message from the ancestor oracle card and then that will be the end of the reading okay if you guys would like to reach out to me for a personal reading or if you would like to donate to the channel so that you can follow me on social media. If you would like to follow me on social media, donate to the channel, reach out to me for a personal, I'll be happy to give you the details, okay? That will be in the description box below. We have air on the bottom of the deck, okay? You could be an air sign or uh, someone watching this for a tourist, you could be an air sign cross watcher or you have air somewhere in your chart or something about air is significant here. And it says breath, you need to do some breath work, okay? Right? Inevitable. Do that breath work, okay? <laughs> Spirit, God, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel, Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Taurus today, please. One, two, three, four. We have hero, courage, okay? You could be a hero or courageous person or someone sees you as this. Um, we have messages, communicator, expect a message coming in with a call or calling, okay? You could be ignoring the call also, um, or you're listening to someone who's a communicator. Don't ignore the call, guys. Whatever you are being called to do, listen, okay? Listen to the call. One, two, three, four. We have shaman or spirit guide. You could be a shaman or a spirit guide or you were dealing with one, someone in your energy like this, something like that. Okay. One, two, three, four. We have holy one and inspiration. You could be a holy one, a holy person, or you inspire other people, or that is what you're meant to do here. Something like this is significant here. One, two, three, four. Shaman and spirit guide. Again, <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Storyteller, imagination. 
Uh, you could be a person who has a vivid imagination. Maybe you have children, okay, because of the kid here in the picture. Um, or something about someone tells you stories or something like that. They're, they're telling you a lie or something like this. Maybe somebody's telling you what you want to hear. I don't know. Something like this is significant. Woo! Mentor and coach. Okay, you could be a coach or a mentor, or maybe that's what you're meant to do here, or something like this is significant. We have earth and life giver. Like I said, someone out here is a parent watching this. Uh, you could be a, uh, a mother or a father watching this. You could already have kids, um, but we have life giver. And then what was the other one that came out? Imagination. The imagination slash storyteller card with the little kid there. Yeah, someone out here is a parent watching this. One, two, uh, three, four. We have moon and cycles. Yeah, okay, the reason that you need to get out of this situation here or that you're having to take a step back from this situation is because of a cycle that you're in is just a cycle, okay? And in order for you to get to the next cycle, you have to leave one cycle behind in order to move forward, okay? Which means here that you're, you're something in your life here you're meant for something greater, okay? Like whatever you're stuck in right now, whatever cycle that you're in, you were meant for something way better than this, okay? And so it's like, it's like God is reaching down and he's like, you know, what you doing? <laughs> what you doing, son? It's like picking you up by the back of your shirt collar and just tossing you a little bit, okay? Like get your ass over there where I said, <laughs> not like that, not physically. God's not necessarily like that, but that's just an interpretation here. It's like God is saying to you, what you doing? Okay. Like, you know, this ain't what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. Like you're supposed to be, you're supposed to have way better things already in your life at this point. Okay. You're supposed to be way farther in life than you are right now. Something about this is going on. Okay. We have lover and innocent. Okay. Um, purity. You could be a lover or someone that loves very strongly. You're actually like deep down, um, whether you show it or not, you're innocent and you're pure of heart. Okay. We have animal instinct. You haven't been all right, and that one was in reversal. And some of these sound, some of these cards when they come out, they don't have a reversal meaning. I just intuitively look at them and I and I see teacher and knowledge. Okay, we have instinct and animal in the reversal. And what I get from that is in the reversal is that you haven't been listening to your animal instinct, which it means you haven't been listening to your intuition. Okay, you haven't been listening to this call, whatever this is telling you to do something here. So listen to the call. Um, explorer, adventurer, you're about to be going on a new adventure or exploring somewhere, or maybe you're a person that likes to go exploring or on adventures here or something like this. We have teacher and knowledge. Now this is in a reversal too, which means that you have knowledge that you need to teach people. Okay. You have something that people need to hear. You have stories that people need to hear and you've been keeping it to yourself. Go out there and tell these stories. You know, the reason that we go through these things in our life here, the reason that we go through hard times in our life is so that we can go and tell people the shit that we've been through and we're still alive mastering ourselves. Can you, you know, 42, 22 on the clock, yo. 42, 22 on the clock, 42. So something about 42, maybe you're 42 or 22 or 42 plus two plus two, 48, maybe you're 48, I don't know. So numerology is very four plus two, four, five, six, seven, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe you're 10. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Maybe something about the 10th is important here, November 10th, okay? So numerology is also significant here. One, two, three, four. We have magician and conjuring, okay? We have musician and sound, okay? Uh, you could be a magician, you're trying to conjure something up, or you're a mu musician or sound, maybe you are wanting to be a musician. We have warrior and boundaries. You're a, a warrior who sets their boundaries, okay? You understand who you are as a person. We have dancer and movement. Maybe you like to dance or you like to move or something like this is significant. Let me get one more four and that'll be the card. One, two, three, four. We have artesian and craftsmanship. Okay, whatever you do for work, you're very good at it, okay? Like people notice your work ethic. They notice how you do what you do. Um, this is just someone or something coming in telling you like, hey, Put that same energy into this, which is something else, okay? And do it that way. We have tree and balance. The reason that these things are happening in your life right now is because something is coming into balance. They're like, this is time. It's just time, okay? <laughs> it's time for this to happen. <laughs> Whatever this is, it's coming into balance. We have peacekeeper and serenity, okay? Um, you may be wanting to keep the peace here. You may be a peacekeeper, a very serene person, or something about this is significant here. Maybe you need to keep the peace right now because, like I said, this is going to be... Very important. We have Magician and Conjuring. This is the card for today. Okay, Taurus, let's see what this card means. This is a very good, I'm glad that I pulled this card because I see it all the time and I don't remember what it means. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know if I've, I know I've gotten it maybe once or twice, maybe a few times in my readings, but I never remember what it means until I like see it again. And then I'm like, this always makes me think of one person that I know who is actually a, um, what are they called? They like, 
do the fire shows with like the fire sticks okay really awesome woman okay i've always thought she's really cool anyways there are abundant examples in popular culture of the magician ancestor sometimes portrayed as a wizard or sorcerer depending on whether he worked with the light or with the dark harry potter gandalf and the lord of the rings and the master magician houdini all exemplify the characteristics of this ancestor now i remember it now i remember okay <laughs> The trickster conjurer the trickster conjurer uses sleight of hand and misdirection to perform their physical magic. They skillfully create the illusion that there is true magic being performed, yet how they do so remains a mystery to those who witness the tricks. Another type of magician is one who sets a clear intention and then proceeds to collaborate with the larger field of consciousness in the concentration no. Another type of magician is one who sets a clear intention and then proceeds to collaborate with the larger field of consciousness of consciousness in the co-creation and manifestation of that which has been set by intention sometimes the process is instantaneous and synchronistic other times it requires a passage of time before it makes an appearance in third dimensional reality this is true magic where no illusion or trickery is involved okay this person looks so much like somebody that i know it's like like look at this it looks so much like someone that i know it's almost like eerie but anyway all right, this is what your ancestors are trying to say to you today through me drawing this card. They are saying, to tap into the magic of manifesting, you must begin with a clear intention and a strong belief. Lately, your intentions have either been absent or muddied and fragmented. This is no doubt due to considerable stress in the circumstances you find yourself embroiled in, which have left you feeling victimized and powerless. Under these conditions, it's easy to fall back into conditioned doubts and uncertainty about your capacity to manifest what you want. This leads to a lack of clarity and focus, not knowing what to ask for and what actions to take to, to achieve your goals and objectives. Yet, when you pause for a few moments, you will know you have the power available to make these choices. Slow down, close your eyes, take a few long, deep breaths, and ask your spirit guide what choice will truly serve and benefit the greater good. Listen with your heart and that still, small voice, and you will receive the answer and, and encouragement to make the right choice and set your intention accordingly. Then... Your actions can align with the will of spirit and when they do miracles occur okay so your something here is meant like something here is coming into alignment for you the reason that you're having to go through <clears throat> these times or these changes or whatever is happening here for you taurus is because of something coming into alignment for you this is a good thing okay this is something that you want to happen <laughs> something that you need to happen right okay so listen, listen to the call, listen to the calling, figure out what it is, figure out what it is that uh, you've been called to do, you know, something out here, you definitely have been ignoring the call for, just do it, ain't nothing to it, but to do it, okay, you know, one thing I used to have the biggest, like, hardest time figuring out is, like, how do I do that, how would I do this, how would I do that, and then I, uh, that term that I say all the time, ain't nothing to it, but to do it, okay, all right, this person, this magician looks like here, this person is a fire, got the little fire thing right i don't know what it's called it's not coming to me right now i have no idea i know that i can't i wouldn't be able to do that without a lot of practice okay so th this person has put a lot of time energy and effort into this okay i don't even know why i'm speaking about this person right now <clears throat> oh i think this person maybe she's a taurus okay i don't even know i have no idea okay this is what i do know when i use the quote ain't nothing to it but to do it okay this person's like looking for um It's like trying to find work for this pos position, okay? When I say there ain't nothing to it but to do it, you can go stand on the street and do this shit. Somebody's gonna, I get, I bet you $100 that I don't have right now, bro. <laughs> Not for that, okay? I got, I, I, I would bet you right now, if this person was standing anywhere on the street, someone would stop and watch, okay? Because first of all, it's fire, okay? Second of all, you're doing tricks with it. And third of all, you were nice like a person okay so this whoever this is this is like something is meant for this person you know like they're they're walking they're stepping into the right direction like they're i can already tell i don't even know who, i don't even know this person like that i don't even talk to them like that okay but if you do something that you are good at doing it makes people look it makes people like it don't matter if they want to look away all right they're still like you know, they still gonna look because you're good at it. You're like, it's like, wow, like, I cannot believe that you can do that. That is a skill. That's something that not a lot of people have. You can do that anywhere, right? Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Go do it somewhere, right? <laughs> Go where you know that there's gonna be people at and do it there. Somebody's gonna tip you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're gonna make money from it somehow. Like, there's always, and it may not be right away. It may not be the very first time, 
That's why consistency is key. Consistency is key. Consistency is key, baby. I might have just came up with a new verse and some kind of rap somewhere, guys. All right. <laughs> all right, Taurus, this is going to be the end of your reading. I hope this message resonates with someone out here. If it does, hit that like button at the bottom. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. And please, please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, and I'm going to get back to those um, hopefully before the end of the day today. It was 49.49 on the clock whenever I said that. Look up the angel number 4949. See what it means for you, okay? Also, guys, if you are an Aries or if you have Aries placement in your chart or Pisces, I believe Pisces is the other sign that I'm doing today. I just got done with the Aries video earlier. Okay, I had to do a part one and a part two because my alarm went off in the middle of it. So make sure you watch the part one and part two to get a complete picture for what is going on for the Aries. If you're a Pisces or have Pisces in your chart, that one will be uploaded next. Okay, love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, guys, love yourself first.